Okay, we're back again to do some more spine embellishing. Now, this is a mini album that I had. It just holds my Copic um, colouring in, which I have marked um, what colours I've used. So, it's, and I've had this on it. This is a bit of the sticky back canvas, Claudine Helmets, and I just heat set it and, and removed it so and that's it's actually stretched it so I can't get it back on there so what I'm going to do is going to show you from start to finish how to cover your mini albums that have been joined with the paper at the binding there so you, to hide the seams so I've got some Claudine Helmuth sticky back canvas now for our albums that we've been making, I don't want to use it on this one. I think what I'm going to do is colour, and I'll show you that in a minute, but colour some flowers and just sit on the spine like that. Because um, I don't want to detract from, I don't want to cover any of the pattern on here. So, um, so the measurements, if you're going to do it for this size album, I would cut the canvas to five inches by I'd cut it to six and a half inches by five inches because we need that little bit extra once we paint or spray or do whatever we want to it and then heat set it or even when it dries it does shrink so five inches by six and a half inches for that size this one here is five and a half so I want to do that at least six inches and it's got a smaller spine than the other one and I so I only want to come over about an inch on that side because it's not as wide as that one so if I do six inches by four and a half okay so I'll cut that now now, is that eight and a half by eleven? It is. So, no, I'm going to do it this way. That's say I needed four and a half. Yeah, four and a half by six. I'm doing. You guys are doing five by six and a half. I'm just using my paper trimmer to cut it. Um. Okay, so now we want to start colouring it now. I think for this one, I, mm, yep, I might use my Tim Holtz Distress Paints because I just love them. But you can spray it, you can ink it, you can stamp it, you can do whatever you want on it. And you know what? I might stamp it first just to show you. Okay, so I'm using the uh, Jet Black Archival Ink because I'm going to put some paints over it, water-based stuff over it, so I need it to be able, it's got to be archival. So, and I'm using the Inka Dinka Do Dot Flourish stamps. I'm just going to grab a, yeah, I need a big one. Eh. Mm. I'll get away with this one. Yeah, okay. Block. So I'll just stamp some flourishes all over it, I think. Now mine's going to go that way, so I want to position mine vertically. All right.
Okay, I'm going to use some of the bundled sage, vintage photo and antique linen in the distress paints. Got to make sure that the, your canvas, your ink on your canvas is completely dry. Okay, so I'm just going to pat some, I actually want more of the green I think. Little bit, oops, shake it. Little bit of the vintage photo. I don't want that too dominant. And a bit of the antique linen. I could do. Yep, okay, I might put a bit more of that bundled sage. Alright, now I'm going to spray that with some water. And now all we're going to do is we're just going to swipe our canvas across all that to grab the colours. Okay. That's really soaking into it, so I'm going to have to do some more. That's okay. Wipe up what I've got first. Now we can see what, yeah, I think we'll do. We're, we're going okay, but maybe just um, one squirt of the vintage photo and oh, I already did that. Okay, see how this one goes. Not too bad. Some parts of it aren't covered, but wait, that's okay. There we go. Some parts aren't covered. I wonder if I can just put a little bit more and just. Yep, pretty darn good. All right, done. Let's dry that now. Okay, so when we started this, it was four and a half, and it looks like it's just under the four and a half there, and just under the six. So, what I'm going to do is cut it down to size now. So, for you, it would be the four and a half inches by six inches. What six inches you guys were going to do, wasn't it? Yep, three, half, one and a half, and one and a half, six inches. Okay, so I'm cutting, my height is higher than yours, so mine was five and a half, so I want to cut that to five and a half by four and a quarter, I think. So, five and a half. Keep these, you can use those on your journal pages or whatever. And four and a quarter, I think I'm going to do here. Now I'm just going to bring it over a bit past that because it's actually shrunk the canvas, not the sticky back, sticky backing. So just be mindful of that. Okay. 
So then I will cut it down to size now. Okay, so we've got, hopefully that will fit now. Just test it first. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, it's going to wrap around like that. All right. Now, me being me, I don't trust the stickiness of the sticky back canvas. So, even though it is sticky, I don't know how good it will stay. How long it will stay stuck. So, I'm going to help it along just on the edges, I think, with some score tape. So, I'm going to have to remove the backing first. <laughs> okay. See how sticky that is. Let me just get my hands free and use. Okay. Now, I'll best zoom out a little bit so you... There we go. So I'm going to go all around the edges with this score tape. All right, now we're going to carefully apply this in the... Do we want the folded position or do we want the flat position? I think we want the flat position, you know. You probably should do this while it's... While, before you put your pages in. So I'm just going to even it up as best I can edge to edge and hopefully that's about done it and press it down and then there you go you've got your, your um, join covered okay just make sure that's all stuck down really well all right now these ugly edges here, you can leave them or you can cover them. Now, you can put some lace on the edge there to hide it. So what I'd do with this, and let's do it anyway, is I would put the lace there like that and then maybe put some... Um, Hmm, do I want that lace or do I want maybe, yep, yeah, okay, well let's just do this. What you want to do first is even up your edges, so we want that much there, and then I want to be able to Stick it down with some glue. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use like eight, one eighth inch score tape on that. So I can never tell which is the right and which is the wrong side with these. But that looks like it's the wrong side. So I'm just going to apply that score tape onto the back of that lace on the edge of it there. And Right, and now remove the backing and stick it down. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put it half and half, I think. So half on the edge of the sticky back canvas. There we go. And then what you can do is you can add some bling to it. Now what colour do I want? 
don't think I will. Oh, yeah, no. I don't want any of those. So maybe it has to be the pearls. And yep, yeah, I'm just gonna do some of these. Oops. And you know what? I think I'm gonna leave them stuck there like that and cut it. At the end here, right uh, there, and then peel it off, and then lay it down. Let's make sure that's going to be right, and it's not going to get too. Long for it? No? Okay. There we go. And there's your bling on it. Okay. You would never know there was a join there. Now, and continue embellishing on the front. You can leave the back or you can cover it with maybe a piece of seam binding or ribbon and incorporate your tag made by in there somehow okay so that's another way oops we've lost a pearl there we go now yeah that's another way of um yeah and you can embellish that even more if you want you can Put some more flowers on there, or whatever you want to do. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Now, I wanted to show you um, this one here was the, another crisscross one that I had. Now, I think it goes that way. No, yeah, that way. Like that. So you've got your crisscrosses and your bows in the lace okay so that's another way of doing it um and that's yeah with the chipboard there and that there um or if you wanted to place another piece of paper over it put a couple of flowers on whatever you want you know it's not necessary to cover it completely. Just have a strip of ribbon there. Not a problem. Okay. All right. So what I've decided to do for this one we made was just put these flowers down there. So what I'm going... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I am. I definitely am just going to put the flowers there, I think. I should put a couple of skeleton leaves just off to the lefty. I'll be back. So I'm trying to turn them down a bit. Um, I might actually put a bit of the brown first. Then just a tiny bit of that green. Ah. Uh, And then the rest with this tattered rose pink. Okay, let's just dry that first and see how we go with it. Actually, I quite like that. There, yeah, which way have we got this? That way. That way. Oh, 
and I think that's absolutely beautiful. I think we put it over a little bit to the left. Hmm. But I need to cover that spine, so I want to try and position it where it's going to do the most coverage. Okay. So what I want to do now is probably put some score tape down first. And I'm going to put it just on so we hide that. So I know that I've got to at least position it that far over. Alright, and then let's try and stick it down. So I have it so that the egg, like, see how that bit extends? So it's sort of as if most of the bulk of it is over that side. So if I just position it so it covers it enough. Crunch it up. There we go. That's down. So what I should do then is maybe, because it's adhered there along that side but not this side, so what I might do, I love it, just to the left of it, looks quite effective I think. So I might just put some Maybe some glossy accents, you reckon? Let's try it. Of course. I just want a little bit so that it sticks down. leave it alone to dry and there you go you've actually covered your spine your paper joins there just a layer of flowers and I think that actually looks well we've got that one put that to that side and then we've got that one and we've got that one Not too bad actually. Turn it around so you can see it the right way up. So that's the way they're going to be seen. There we go. So you can always get around those joins on the spine. So okay we've actually done four different spine um, covers that I forgot about this one. So you um, sticky back canvas that you've stamped and painted, sprayed, and that's the front to hide the edge of the canvas. Then you got the ribbon bows, ribbon ties, and they're all the way throughout. Then you got this one, it's just made and stuck on your spine. And then the flowers. And yes, I was going to get some skeleton leaves for that, but I think it would have um, ruined the effect. I love how that looks now. Okay. So, have fun, ladies. And bye for now. Bye.